Welcome back to Medicare USA. Today, I'm going to talk about maggots myiasis infestation in the human mouth. But before we dive in, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for instant updates. And please watch the complete video to get all the details. For further reading material, check out the description section. Now let's get started. Myiasis in the human mouth or oral myiasis is a rare condition where maggots or fly larvae infest the soft tissues of the mouth. This parasitic infection often involves flies like or which target damaged or necrotic tissues. Oral myiasis typically affects those with poor oral hygiene, weakened immune systems, or pre-existing oral injuries. It can also occur in people with compromised health, neurological disorders, or substance abuse issues. 1. Severe pain and discomfort from larvae movement and burrowing. 1. Swelling, redness, and inflammation in the affected area. 1. Maggots cause sores, lesions, and a foul-smelling discharge. 1. Damaged tissue can bleed, especially with deeper infestation. 1. Larvae burrow into tissues, causing ulcers that worsen without treatment. 1. Patients might feel something moving in their mouth, which can be very distressing common in individuals with poor dental care. Open sores or wounds provide an entry point for flies. More frequent in those with weakened immune responses. Higher risk in warm, humid climates with poor sanitation. 1. Manually removing maggots using forceps or surgical tools under local anesthesia. 1. Washing the area with saline or antiseptics to clean out larvae. 1. Topical or systemic drugs to eliminate remaining larvae. 1. Prescribed if there's a secondary bacterial infection. Maintaining good oral hygiene is key, particularly in regions with flies causing myosis. Proper wound care and minimizing fly exposure can prevent this condition. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned with Medicare USA for instant updates and leave a thoughtful comment.